Welcome back to Kimberology. Lessons in the psyche of the craziest woman on Twitter, Kimber Kush, self-proclaimed CEO of Natural Healthy CBD and the Extra Spoon. In our first lesson, we got an overview of what a day in the life of Kimber's magical Twitter feed is like, and as such, we also learned she's completely insane and should go in for a long vacation in a small room with padded walls. But now it's time to have a little bit of fun. Your prerequisite courses are over. And now it's time to get into the nitty gritty of Kimber's real insanity. Now trigger warning for our more easily emotionally shattered viewers. Today's lesson will be dealing with some very mature themes. And let me start by saying rape is serious business. It is one of the most horrific crimes that a human can perpetrate unto another human. That being said, making false rape claims is pretty bad too. And one of Kimber's biggest claims to victimhood is a story in which she says her husband stole her medical marijuana card and then called the police on her, causing her to end up in jail and subsequently lose her son forever. Oh, and while she was in jail, she claims to have been raped so brutally by the Chicago Police Department that it caused her to suffer from chronic petite mall seizures for years after, necessitating the need for her supposed service dog, which she apparently does not put in a vest, and if you question that little Gotham here is actually a service dog, she will hunt you down and harass you on social media. June 22nd, 2020. Apparently, Kimber took her good boy Gotham to Mindful Dispensary in Chicago to go pick up some dabs, which are the only medication she claims she needs other than her daily intake of CBD to keep her as sane as we've seen thus far. Be mindful of the toxic berries invading your space. Since Diane ran last year, I'll help you guys out a little. I'm a handicapped female. My name is Kimber. Not Kimarella, not Kim Sella. I train service dogs. I was banned from legal meds. State licenses the dispensaries. And then Kimber includes this correspondence with Mindful Dispensary on Facebook. Dear Gotham, you and all other service dogs are always welcome at Mindful as long as you're in your service dog vest. Your owner was not singled out. That is simply the policy of Mindful Dispensary. We explain this policy to all dog owners. There are two dogs that work at the store. They're not service dogs and they will never be in vests. You'll just have to get used to this. Any dogs or dog owners that don't like our dog policy, assuming that they're not too lazy to switch dispensaries, are free to shop elsewhere. And then we see that Kimber didn't clip out that she had her Gotham alt account reply, but she won't let us see exactly what was said. But we can clearly see that our man at Mindful Dispensary is handing out L's and Kimber was first in line. You got to imagine how rude she was and how crazy she got on social media for this legitimate business to talk like this to a customer in public. But whatever she said, the owner responds with goodbye Kimber, you and your poorly trained service dog will not be missed. And then realizing that's not a good look, they, they do go ahead and try to backpedal here. From Mindful Dispensary. Let Mindful Dispensary be the first on Facebook to say, we are sorry. You are welcome to come in without your vest. We do wonder why though you wouldn't want to wear it. It lets others know that your owner may need some special assistance and that you are at work and should be given some space. And Gotham, to help make you better at your job, please see the above list of things that you aren't great at that most other service dogs are. So he's straight, backhand apologies her, and then gives her a list of things her dog could be better at. I like this guy. If you happen to be in the Chicagoland area and in need of some fine herb, Mindful Dispensary appears to be a nice, quiet, Kimber-free joint you can get it from. So after some other interaction, including this email interaction that Kimber doesn't show us the rest of, Kurt Berry finally tells her, Kimber, I openly apologized on Facebook to you for not knowing the exact rule about support dogs in their vests. I told you that he was welcome here without his vest, but that, that wasn't good enough for you. You had to go on Instagram and Facebook and make slanderous and false statements. As a result, and with the full backing of the IDPH and the IDFPR, neither of which things I know what they are, I am banning you from Mindful Dispensary effective immediately. Get the fuck out, Kimber. Take your crazy ass down on the corner and get some weed from Leroy. And bring your raggedy ass dog, which now since Kimber doesn't put Gotham in his service dog vest, the dispensary owner rightfully asked her to take her mutt outside. No dogs allowed in the weed store. Instead of producing proof of her disability, 
possibly because it doesn't exist, or putting her dog in a vest, possibly because Gotham is not a service dog, he's simply a gimmick she uses to fleece disabled people. She pitched a fit of epic proportions and threatened a federal lawsuit. So as you can see, Kimber's too cool for the rules. Her dog doesn't have to wear a vest or be trained. And it didn't stop with her just getting banned from her favorite dispensary. She proceeded to make accusations and dox employees and throw a fit a month after. And frankly to this day, but she seems to have kind of calmed down a little bit. Last time I saw your grandma at Mindful, Illinois, she rolled her eyes at me and then moved to the place that the bank said my credit card was run and I've never been to Texas. I'm not saying you owe me, but you know, she shouldn't let her kids think my life is theirs and I'd like my money. If I'm going out and taking all of you with me, Mindful Quinn and Kurt Berry probably. Mindful Dispensary in Illinois also has a blonde named Quinn. And look at all the healing work being undone by one Barry. Let's chat instead of Kurt just mad at cartoons. I'll be taking the pilots with me. You can threaten the world on your own time, but you can't threaten me because I was the one you fucked over that has federal charges for multiple people for Mindful Dispensary hoping you change. Not to mention, don't you already own a steakhouse? Someone should really look into the spray. I mean, my goal is to protect my industry. What's yours? To steal it with the voice actors at Mindful? LOL, okay. Don't be pissed if I play dirty too. Kisses and hugs. If you're wondering what she's talking about with voice actors, this is the beginning of her crazy theory that online animated series are about her life. Not in that teen girl way where they watch a movie and they're like, oh, that's so me. No, she believes her life's story is being stolen for the Bluntstream and Gulf City and a number of other YouTube animation projects. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, but I'm a normal person. I'm not fucking crazy. But we'll get into that in later Kimberology lessons. Mob Tech, hey, it's your friend from the sky again. Just chiming in from the future to let you know that you should look in the Mindful Dispensary in Illinois for the answer to the questions you're asking. Mindful Dispensary, Illinois. I think we maybe need to sue your dispensaries. Trust me, I have enough people to win regardless of your status in government. Like when I didn't sue your Mindful location, though I have seven years on a pro bono suit for a federal crime against service animals, your GM admitted to in writing, so how about you put more work into the places you're gatekeeping with your Mindful Illinois location on record? Mocking the disabled and it, admitting to and writing banning a patient that had a license to your location by discriminating against a service animal via federal ADA! Kindly fix your shit or I'll have everyone from triangles to Canada to growers and streamers and YouTubers and then the government on your back about how you had to manipulate and abuse a disabled patient and their service dog for Vincent and Mindful federally protected persons. Vincent worked for Chris Hansen and Mindful Dispensary while Chicken Hansen came to stream. Is that worth a federal dispensary wise halt? Sucking Vincent's dick while getting fucked by Barry because they want more money and you're a useless cripple with a service dog? A foothold monopoly through the US and Canada by gaslighting, intimidation, thievery, disparagement, and their staff of streaming voice acting criminal employees working a government contract. All right, so we know that Kimber's still insane, but why did we take a detour into maybe this service dog of hers isn't legit? Well, it's gonna come back and become relevant again at the end. This is a great way to tell a story, but like we talked about, she's about to tell us how she needs this dog because she gets seizures from being brutally gang raped by the Chicago Police Department after her unjust arrest for possession of marijuana. And spoilers, much like Kimber's other stories, something here just is not adding up. All right, so when you search at CBD Healthy and rape on Twitter, you'll find she talks about rape just as an issue before November 8th, 2018. And then she doesn't say a thing about it. She doesn't mention the word once until March 5th, 2020. And then she goes just rape crazy. Then she just, she's the ultimate victim of rape. She starts it on all her crazy stories. It's all bullshit. But why would there just be a two-year absence of the word rape from her vocabulary? It's almost like she got caught trying to put that on somebody and bust it out so heavily that she was afraid to even bring it up as a topic. Hmm. Another day, another firestorm that I had to stamp out due to the never-ending inferno that is Kimber. 
She's now changed her story again as to why we've had a falling out and why I apparently am orchestrating an event against her. I apparently am making Tommy and everybody else turn against her and forcing Tommy to, to go off on her on stream and all of this stuff. And she's going to my friends and she's telling them the reason is because I made sexual advances towards her and she refuted that. Now, it's funny, and I'm going to tell you exactly what happened in just a moment. But remember, a while back, Kimber went ahead and she made a comment about us sharing a bed. I went to her in DMs, which I'll also put beneath this, and told her she needs to clarify this because we did not fucking bone and people were coming to me and saying, you fuck Kimber, you fuck Kimber, and all this stuff, which did not happen. She did clarify, and in that clarification, she said I was nothing but a perfect gentleman and all of this. So she's either lying to you now or she's lying to you then, one of the fucking case, right? So let me tell you what happened, because I don't care about telling this story. It doesn't matter to me. She picked me up at the Chicago bus station, I threw up in her car, and she took me to my mom's. A week later, we hung out again, she picked me up, we went to the dispensary, and we bought a whole bunch of fucking weed. Went back to her house, to her room, on her bed, and we got incredibly fucked up. CBD, fucking uh, uh, weed, all kinds of shit. I got higher than I've ever been in my entire life, and we did a live stream on her channel, as a matter of fact, from her bed, because we were just hanging out. Over the course of the night, the more high I got, I ended up saying to her, Camber, do you know that I want to kiss you? That's what I said. She said, no, you are married me, I'm married, which I am. I was separated, but that's nobody's business, and that wasn't fucking public knowledge at the time. Regardless of that, that was it. That was the entire situation, and we never spoke of it again. It never became an issue again because it was no issue. I was high. Didn't want to kiss her, wouldn't kiss her now. That's just the reality of it. Nothing against her, but you don't stick your dick in fucking crazy. So thank you for refusing the kiss, Kimber, because my God, what a mistake that would have been, even more so than just the obvious. So there you go. There's a story. I don't care. Peace. So apparently Dead on Dave was high as hell. I've smoked some good weed in my time, but never anything that would make me want to put my mouth on Kimber. But nonetheless, Kimber decided to turn this innocent story of a motherfucker that got a little bit too high, asked if he could kiss her, got turned down, into a story of forced sexual advancement. And this story got out, and it got around, and it ruined her. I set out to help people, and people were getting harmed, and you both put that shit on my head. I battle PTSD too, Dave. I battle depression. I'm a human with feelings. I feel like you've turned your back so easily. I led you in my house. My bed has the quartering. So indeed, that certainly does sound a little bit nefarious. I think we can all understand how Dave might want that clarified. And once again, an example of how Kimber just puts everything on Twitter. When the world was against me, I could have really used a friend instead of more reasons to have trust issues with humans. It literally took one person to say she's shit for you to go from you're 100% correct. And we haven't spoken since, and we used to talk every day. Don't fake shit. As a friend and a business relation, I never in a million years would have expected you to jump ship so quickly because the quartering and Ben never steered you wrong. Now they have. Have I? A lie made you turn your back on me. Damn, this ain't no business partnership. This bitch is acting like an ex-girlfriend. Somebody needs to put her down, man. We gotta put this bitch in a room somewhere. And apparently Dave's fans did because this was the next day. I need to clarify a tweet from yesterday that I stated quickly by saying I allowed you into my house and into my bed to dead on Dave. I completely understand how it sounds, but it wasn't meant this way. Nothing happened between us at all. My goal would have never been to insinuate this. My statement to Dead on Dave was from an angry place, knowing Dave knows I have a bed at my desk because of my back. Also, I'm someone that's paranoid about people and germs who never has people over, especially not on my bed. This is my special place and I brought him here to chill. Dead on Dave may have disagreements, sometimes publicly, but you can trust both of us to be coming from a place of legitimately fighting for what we think to be right, not one of revenge or causing harm to one another's reputation. Dave was a proper gentleman the whole time. Well, if he was a proper gentleman, how are you out here accusing him of doing untoward sexual things in your house? Sharing your bed, going off on this business relation like he's your ex-boyfriend. But maybe Tommy C can clear this up for us real quick. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop podcast. the show. Stop the show, Tommy. Stop the show. Natural Healthy CBD wants you to tell them how you put her out of business, Tommy. I told her. Nobody buys from you I'll in the first exactly, place. That's exactly. It. I'll tell you. Because her, okay. she has a chainsaw mouth. <laughs> And uh, she she basically uh, kind of like jokingly accused one of my closest army buddies of raping her, right? So what I did, because she's such a fucking pain in the ass, after they started shutting down people like the quartering and Tim Pool for advertising CBD, right? Uh, she still encouraged the people that she was sponsored to run her shit. And then when they stopped, after they, I don't know, Dave got one strike, that she fucking started talking shit about them, saying stuff like, ah, maybe I got raped. So what I did is I let every motherfucker know not to deal with natural healthy CBD. Uh, so apparently the story goes between YouTube shutting down CBD ads and her losing all of her sponsorships, coupled with the fact she is a known false rape accuser, who by the way is accusing a crippled veteran of this. That kind of put her off from talking about the subject for about two years. But just recently, ladies and gentlemen, she dipped her feet back in the pool of victimhood and she felt that cool and cleansing rush of when you think people pity you for some shit that never really happened to you. And it started what I call the rapening. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time to take a look at Kimber Kush's 2020 Rape Grand Prix. She's right though. I've watched every Hyphonic stream since I found him been incredibly supportive. Last night he mocked my deaf assistant. Seizures, rape, abuse, mental health, and spinal injury live to 1,000 people. I have no public profile. I was stalked on Facebook. Now what? And the rest of you? Just because blue-haired feminists go on tirades, that doesn't mean everyone who mentions CPTSD, rape, assault, manipulation is full of shit. Some of us are just there every day watching your shows being mocked by you too. Just not saying anything. Do better. And this is the post where I discovered this fraud. Scams in the market. Streamers and CBD are a thing. YouTube created this because we can't advertise to anyone but them. And they're all fighting for it with legality and ugly porn stars that think that rape is fun. Karma needs karma. And her brother Landon shouldn't be scamming. And then she includes this informational graphic. Alert. Cannabis Corruption, Avoid Working with the Creators, Hyphonics, Geek Thulu, The Ralph Retort, Tommy C, Joy Sparkles, AP, Captain Sparkles, Captain Content. They steal from their sponsors as well as their patients. I don't have sponsors or patients. By stealing from Earth Med Dispensary and driving it to Florida in their RV where it is not legal. So again, this is where I really discovered this broad and started paying attention to her when she accused me out of nowhere of interstate drug trafficking. This bitch has got to be stopped. We gotta stop these lying hoes out here. She gonna get somebody arrested one of these days. Real Hyphonics, please stop talking about rape and cancer on your live streams. I just don't know why your new bulking, manning up supplements are making you such a little bitch. Time for a new sponsor? Just make sure they weren't rape victims, okay? Threatening me with my abuser? Threatening and intentionally triggering thoughts of rape and admitting in VC how you gaslight people and put three in mental hospitals while banning channels? Ellis should talk about dispensaries and working there illegally. Grim stuff, not free. Me works on chatbot that saves everything. Them commits crime, threatens dog, year worth of harassment, mocking trauma of losing son, ha, rape. I'm on your Facebook, I'm selling bad CBD, stealing your name, stealing your info, stealing your biz. Me. Yeah, so remember the saving part? Actually, I know how to win. Let's harass staff about losing their kids and rape trauma because we hope she forgets us and steal while we file business licenses and sell junk because we don't think we get caught or ever pay for what we do. 2020, by the way, gang gang. Oh, this is one of my favorites. At Hippie of Love says on April 3rd, I think it's in really bad taste to worry about drama on Twitter when we're going through what we are. So let's all grow up and put not be pretty and hateful, okay? Drama isn't the same as stealing someone's work that they need to see their children again while you mock them for rape and steal their products for a year. Just saying. Well, hippie of love, you've been Kimbered. Southern Spoonie, I'm sorry my phone is being updated. 
Joe said we're not allowed around the drunken pheasants and Billy won't answer. Why would he want us? Not to mention Vincent kicking my service dog out of my personal medical dispensary a day before Christmas. He can wait. Ask Bob and Wade where their jannies are and why does Wade B remind me of Frosty and Bob of Zoom? Since when did E mean destroy companies of those below you while getting them beaten for your fake polydubs mocking rape? Gosh, Bob, Mark, you really should clean this up. Ha ha, she cried because we told jokes. No, she cried because you forced her back into a dangerous situation because you stole nine years of hard work. You followed her, you mocked my rape and caused her to lose faith and enjoyment in the only thing she had, YouTube. Ha, funny. More? You realize I'm a cop's rape victim, right? I'm not on the cop's side. I don't know why you think someone raped in jail by police that received no justice herself would want more of them. Bonus what? People telling me that because of my cops can rape me? That's kind of weird. I mean, yeah, it seems weird to me, but I'm not a fucking psychopath, so who am I to judge? I'm just very against mocking women for rape. It's not cool. Did you guys hear about that book that lady tied to that hell dog written by some crackpot at Bloomberg? I heard it was hella bad situation. They basically locked people out and tortured them with rape and the loss of their children and money. That's crazy, isn't it? Hey guys, want to donate to my stock? I stole the business off this disabled person who suffers from seizures and I think rape is funny. Did you know Drunkle works here too? He's wealthy. That's socialism, right? A lot of women lie about rape. I'm not one of those women, and I never mentioned my trauma until you forced me to, and I'd like to never talk about it again, please. I mean, alright, never talk about it again, we're okay with that, shit. I'm glad we're learning from one another, YouTube, stars, watchers. Today I learned that if your mother, your sister, or daughter faced rape, you'd shun her, steal from her, then torture her with silence while everyone stared and walked away doing nothing. We're fucked, ladies. Think of the people using the word rape out of context, not just as a joke, but legitimately out of place to trigger people like COG and Hyphonics. Do they sell vape products? Do you want to buy them? Imagine having to use rape to defeat a woman. I bet that never happens. Damn, COG, you're out here raping Kimber? I didn't know. Man, take my advice, never put your meat in crazy. That's how your meat goes rotten, man. Just listen. Just listen, the international finding and use of rape trauma to defeat someone. You don't believe that most women have experienced sexual discrimination like forced triggering of rape victims by making it an adjective, but she didn't quit. What are you gonna do with that big dick energy? And then she includes this uh, informational graphic here. Warning, listen to the words they use. Imagine a man using rape to trigger and disarm your enemy because they're a woman. I bet that never happens. I bet we're all making it up. Well, Kimber, I'm pretty sure you're making it up because I've seen what you look like and ain't nobody gonna rape you. I could send you in South Central LA at three in the morning down a dark alley to go buy cigarettes at a ghetto bodega and you would still not get raped. When in jail, I was raped and told if I said anything it would happen again. And this year, I relived that. I haven't seen Michael since his father had this done to me. He's 10 now. I hope you mean the child and not the father. Guys, I really like talking about rape because the only person who would sponsor me is related to me and was raped and I like mocking people that work the platform that I'm on. Staff, fuck you. Job? Now she's gotta be talking about me here because we have the same last name. I harass you? Lol, I'm just a viewer. Let's talk about rape. Depends on who's offering. Not even Disney is cool with rape culture. Haha, <laughs> bitch, I think you need to look into Disney. Idiot called himself God and laughed at rape and freaked identities and can't figure shit out. And here she tries to appeal to that crazy trans deer Twitch mod. Nature to Twitch mods. Dear, this was who falsely pointed me towards you. As a victim of rape, it never stops. This bullshit and mindfuls are connected. Please deny any request from this or it will rape and pillage your website. I'm sorry, this is Disney now, nature from future. And it's just Hyphonics in his Discord like, 
Every time I take a shit, I'm gonna post it here. It might add something to the conversation rather than mass genociding everybody with a white name. Then raping them into submission to let them know they're not worth shit. I don't know how this relates to Kimber. He probably doesn't know this relates to Kimber. But then again, we're not insane. Telling a joke is not sending people to repeatedly talk about rape in multiple chats, knowing you're on there, having you harassed offline, then having your own dispensary kick you out and sell your shit, which isn't even legal in the state. You're increasing eyes on others. Shut up. Wow, now mocking rape? Very telling. I wouldn't use DuckDuckGo if you run a business because if you don't use DuckDuckGo, they'll make a copy of you from Vermont and do so anyway. You people wonder why I never suggested VPNs before. So now I have to tell Google to add Duck to my meta tags with management and clown. This is what them trickles down. First him city, then the rape mocking from Hyphonics, CRISPR making copies, Aiden, then Tommy C saying he's stealing Slim Jim. Let's chalk this up to... Uh oh, Disney did a stinky poopy again. Who wants to talk Duck Duck Go and Shogun? Jim, stop the virus. Virus, I already spread it everywhere because I've been following the person I told you I was, like a spider, a web. You're the one whose girlfriend mocked his sister with rape and stood for it. You knew she was coming. Why didn't you tell anyone? Oopsies did steal. I'm Kimber Kush. The other Kush just followed me into your chat because they think that's how the money in AI is made, so they fall for bots, and you fall for feeder fetishes. Not my problem. I had your back. You thought you could mock out the rape like you had a stance over me. Is the city? It's been pretty obviously the city for a while. And at night, John would traumatize me with rape jokes no matter how much I told him to stop, or Sophia to stop, or anyone to stop. I was mocked and laughed at. But now here I am, so... Oh, you mean my dad was my dad the whole time, but that guy wasn't my dad? But the rape stuff is still real? And here's that same screenshot of Hyphonic's Discord again. Yes, hotlines can help people. Talking about trauma can help you, but I've been mocked for being raped for the past three weeks, and I don't think it helped me at all. Now people use rape as an adjective in chat to trigger me. Like the hotline can do that for somebody suicidal. Rape, sex, and childhood sexual predation victims log off. It's going to be fine. Everything is okay. You're safe. They caught the bad guy. Waiting for a bullet. But you don't need to read this right now, and if you're sensitive to things like sexual assault, STOP SCROLLING! I'm also a rape victim with cancer if you want to talk about that. Why isn't John just untalking about rape now? I keep saying, like, stop being affected by people's traumas, and it's just not working. Sophia, stop using your alts to say rape is okay! How does this save our dogs? How does this save our dog? Bitch, what? Keith Lewis, who's gonna suck my dick? Well, Carl, who's gonna suck... Well, Carl, who's gonna suck off this guy and his friends screaming rape at everyone? Damask? Horses? I don't know how this game works. Nature is crazy. 50 to 100 people have their gun rights taken just to be murdered by their government every weekend. That's pretty woke of you. In Chicago, if you're sick and have a medical card, you don't have the right to own a firearm legally. That's how they continue to arrest us so they can rape us at 26th in California. And indeed, I did look up what is at the corner of 26th in California and Chicago. No big surprise here, Cook County Jail, it's her rape story. Let's go back to mocking rape. The rape, imprisonment, and marijuana arrest of your daughter was caused by Terry Munyer, brother to the owner of Nitro Raid. So now she is straight up calling some dude out by name as a fucking rapist, or the arranger of her rape. This is where this bitch gets dangerous. You guys want to talk about rape now again? Not Disney, not famous. You've been eating me alive, and Pollyanna stole my identity. Want to talk about rape again, John? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk about it for 30 minutes in this video, bitch. These seizures and the clicking is caused by reintroduction of a trauma. Victim's trauma. A rape victim exposed to rape. A police brutality victim exposed to the police. A mother running to protect a child. A victim seeing what they're running from. Asking why she didn't run. Racism and sexism exists. 
However, without evidence, like the kind you would not have in a rape situation or one-on-one -on -one situation with a cop and suspect, you can't plead your case. What happens when you're not allowed to speak? Please don't put good names like Juices in a sentence with rape. Bitch, please don't put good names like all of the people you've been talking about for the last 30 minutes in a sentence with rape. There's a million reasons why that's highly inappropriate and should never be tolerated ever. Don't fuck with other people's names just because you don't have your own. Take your own advice, bitch. Imagine imagining knowing everything you made since May was because of somebody you think deserved rape and don't even know the name of. Now you know I don't stay with my dads. What do you mean dads? They don't know my name, but they steal my mail. Oh, watch out, y'all. She's about to tell us all about ourselves. You support enslaving women, theft, stealing from patients, practicing medicine without a license, mail fraud, stealing from those pursuing legalization, rain charity fraud, night docs and nexpos, dadmanati, mocking rape, the separation of kids from moms, abuse of service dogs. You support destroying families, harassing and stalking, i.e. Hyphonics and the rape inception. Jim and Rachel and Britt, multiple accounts of fake service dogs and cancer, way back showing when you message and when you change your site, gatekeeping, anti-trade federal law breaches. You know damn well that wars and over-governing happens that multiple legal cases will fucking end us all! If there wasn't a severe problem happening with stolen brand and product, I wouldn't be put up with this rape joke shit! Everything I built and become I did myself, from being arrested for my medical marijuana, raped in jail with a card, and killed by Terry Munyer. He just wants the money. He's making you guilty to a crime so he doesn't go down alone. We have a child and his life isn't a game. You guys want to put his best friend back online to mock me for getting raped because he threw me in jail again or is that just something we do on special occasions? Just recorded the wanting to put me in jail. That's great. Well, we're supporting continue on. This is going to look good in court because you're not fucking working either. Where's your kid? Am I done, Terry? Am I done? You're going to lock me in jail and prevent me from earning a wage to see Mikey again? Talk a little louder and clearer into the mic. I'm sure I was raped in jail and told the world I died by Terry. Yeah, I'm sure you want to fucking argue my trauma or there are ulterior motives here, GCV, the medical providers to me. None of us know what that means. We're not insane. If you don't believe people because of what is put in the record by some state attorney, just remember that my ex bought a judge, I'm being blackmailed by a state attorney, and a judge threatened my lawyer with jail time for doing his job while removing my order of protection. Yeah, I mean, why would people believe things like a judge or a state attorney or what's on the record in court, man? None of that means anything. Mocking rape doesn't hit the same today, does it? Five. Hope no one tried to kill a service dog in an elite discord. My life and my business are real things. I don't have time to stalk and harass and threaten and rape and arrest people to get it. Bitch, that's all you do is stalk and harass and threaten people. So I've already won. Beat that. Look up next time you want to talk to me. We're winning this rape and trauma game, said the male player. Oh, she's gone full Gamergate feminist here. Fuck me because I wouldn't let you steal? Who's gonna arrest and rape them since it's about switching and I didn't deserve this? Farah? Men will mock rape until a woman that's been raped comes and tells them that they don't want to constantly think about the fact that they've been raped over and over again, but they say the word rape anyways. That happens to say the word rape some more, but you'll get used to it. So when you hurt a mother, a good mother, and you cause a broken family, and you cause people to run away, and you cause trauma, and you cause rape, Miss Morris, you create huge monsters that will chase you for the rest of your life. Bitch, point out the good mother in this situation. My quiet alien from Sugar Hill isn't talking much. Maybe they don't believe in rape. I think mocking rape is funny, so you guys said that you're not talking about the rape mocking. Though, is that not allowed on Twitch or something? So Kimber is out here not only claiming she was raped by the Chicago Police Department after her marijuana arrest, which was staged by her ex who is connected enough to buy a DA, but would still have a kid with this. But she's also getting so into this story that she's dropping the man's proper name. I think at this point we're beyond having to debate if she's lying. But just in case you had any questions about it, 
Here is her arrest record, which shows not only has she never been arrested for marijuana, it shows the only thing she has there is an open traffic warrant for failure to appear in a county she doesn't even live in. So the rape story is an absolute lie. But let's see if we can do the math to prove this. Had she been arrested because she had weed in her house and her MJ card was stolen and her kid was taken, by the time she went to court, she could have had that card replaced. She could have shown it to a judge, gotten it all dismissed, and the kid would be right back in her care. Provided there wasn't some other environmental factor. Like, I don't know, mom's too busy taking oxy naps to put clothes on her kid or feed him. So it's all bullshit. And remember, she claims she has seizures from her head being basketball dribbled off the floor while Officer Poker vigorously raped her. Remember how she claimed she needed Gotham the service dog for those seizures? And remember how we just discovered it's quite possible that dog has zero to do with being a service dog and is just 100% her pet she uses to try to scam some actual handicapped people into buying her service dog gear. It's starting to look like this vicious rape by police never happened. She never mentions it before 2020, and the last time she was throwing the word rape around, it was right before she got a lot of heat for throwing around some false accusations when it came to Dead on Dave. And then she didn't even use the word for two freaking years on her Twitter. Which is weird because before and after that, she never stops talking about it. Now of course, this is Kimber Kush from Natural Healthy CBD. So not only would nobody ever believe her accusations, but there isn't a court in America that would look at her social media and not dismiss any case she makes immediately. But consider this, she is out here accusing multiple men of rape on social media. And even if she never makes a legal beef with it in her life, these men still have their names attached with a false rape accusation for the rest of the time her Twitter's up there. If their wives, kids, extended families, employers look them up, there it is. That kind of shit can ruin someone. It can cost someone their job or employment prospects. You can't be out here just accusing men of shit like this without merit. There are men sitting in prison right now, as you're listening to this, because of women like Kimber Kush. Something has got to be done about this crazy hoe and her lying. She cannot be out here accusing men of this shit or even trying to insinuate that any random YouTuber who makes any reference to rape on Twitter, YouTube, Discord is personally attacking her, thusly justifying her putting you on front street on her Twitter feed. This woman has got to be stopped before some poor desperate simp ends up in prison because he meets up with her in real life and she decides it's time to have a schizo moment and accuses the dude of rape. I mean, heck, she says that I threatened her life, which justifies her saying she's gonna have her hell's angel daddy come slit my throat. And when questioned about proof of such a claim, oh, she, she doesn't have to do what you want her to do, so she doesn't have to show you that proof. And the same applies to her rape claims. Try it for yourself. Go ask her a question on Twitter. She will block you or move the goalposts from, hey, stop being a serial false accuser, to, you're mocking my rape and intentionally triggering my trauma and gaslighting me and I'm gonna sue you. It's one of the sickest psychosises I've ever seen. And when you combine this with things like her oxy addiction and constant access to social media, you get this common household bitch monster out here accusing different people of different crimes on the daily. This video was just about rape. And you saw some shades of other things, the drug trafficking, identity theft accusations, but I assure you, as we get deeper into our Kimberology lessons, you will see the exposure of possibly the most toxic psycho to ever sign up for a Twitter account. And that's your lesson in Kimberology for today. Remember guys, if you're gonna buy CBD, buy it from literally anywhere else than natural healthy CBD. This is the last woman you want having your full name and credit card information. And as always, be careful for these lying ass hoes out here, gentlemen.